Funded by the Rural Economy and Land Use Programme, the Sustainable Uplands Project has considered how UK uplands might change under future social, economic and environmental conditions. The team has used scenarios to start thinking about what the future may hold for UK uplands. But what do we mean by scenarios? Scenarios are simply stories about possible futures. Rather than attempting to predict what will happen, scenarios are plausible descriptions of what the future might hold. Using a combination of interviews, surveys and computer modelling. The Sustainable Uplands team has developed a number of different scenarios that can be used as a starting point to think about what our responses to future change may be. And how are they developed? The scenarios are based on a combination of sources, including information collected from a wide range of interviews and workshops, which were carried out with those people who have an interest in UK uplands, from farmers and landowners to policymakers and the people who use the uplands for leisure activities. From a wide range of scenarios, two of them have been developed in some detail by the project. One focusing on what UK food security might mean for uplands, and the second exploring the implications of farmers managing the land for ecosystem services. The team included the influences and impacts of predicted climate change in the scenario building as they explored the full implications and possible knock-on effects of each of these potential futures. This research has combined the wisdom of crowds with the latest natural and social science research and harnessed this collective knowledge to think outside of the box and consider what the future might hold for some of Britain's most treasured landscapes. After watching the films, consider what these futures might mean for you and for all of us who depend on the UK uplands for our drinking water to regulate the climate by keeping carbon locked up in peat soils and to provide spectacular wildernesses where we can enjoy internationally important habitats and species. Thank you for watching this presentation.